Playwright Writers Cruise here. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, we are going to be looking at the IELTS Practice Academic Writing Task 1. This is a different, while it is still writing task number one, it's a different prompt. And all I did was copied and pasted what was available from the British Council. And I am going to go ahead and start my timer at 20 minutes and see if I can maybe make this one 150 words. So that is the requirement. And if you looked at um, my previous week's video for academic writing task one, um, looking at recycling, I did not make it. So I hope that in this video, I will be able to accomplish the task of writing 150 words in 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead, write writers, and start my timer. Again, please keep in mind that um, all I did was pretty much copied and pasted what was, um, you know, what was there by the British Council, and that was um, that was pretty much it. And just set my Google Doc up ready to go for this um, video. So task number one timer has started and I now have 19 minutes and 47 seconds remaining. Um, it says the graph below shows the population of India and China from the year 2000 to the present day with projections for growth to the year 2050. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Um, of course, in the British uh, version of Summarize, it is with an S, and I just changed it to a Z for the US um, version. So here we have our graph uh, looking at India and China, and we're seeing the changes in the population of India and China, 2000 to 2050, as it said. We see the source, which, which is interesting, from the United Nations Population Division. Um, with uh, it looks like a colon medium variant and we see the years broken up into decades so we have 2000 2010 2020 2030 2040 2050 so it's broken up into 10 year increments then we see uh, total population in billions obviously this 1000 represents 1 billion 1.1 billion 1.2 billion, 1.3 billion, 1.4 billion, 1.5 billion, 1.6, 1.7 billion. So um, obviously uh, breaking it up here, then we've got um, India is represented by the, it's uh, in the diamonds, the diamond shape here. And then we have China represented here by the circles. So we've got definitely some interesting um, dynamics going on with India um, behind China back in 2000, but you can see that India surpasses China in population by 2050. So let's take a look at um, what we're going to, how we're going to set this up in a summary form. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow what it says you know, shows the population of India and China from the year 20, or 2000 to the present day with projections for growth to the year 2050. And I'm going to definitely make sure that I reference the United Nations Population Division. So if I'm summarizing this information, first I want to zoom out and I kind of want to just talk about what, what we're seeing here in the graph. And, um, Let's go ahead and go kind of big here um, and zoom out and see what's being shown. So let me go ahead and make sure, right, writers, that this is not uh, bold and underlined here. So um, let's see. I'm going to start, I think, with the United Nations. According to the United Nations... Um, Population division. I want to make sure that I say that right or write that right. Population division. According to the United Nations Population Division, 
and I guess I will zoom out for, first. Um, so obviously China was ahead of India, um, but it is expected by 2050 that India will surpass China. So according to the United Nations Population Division, India is projected to to surpass instead of I was going to say outpace but I'm going to go with surpass instead right writers according to the United Nations population population division India is projected to surpass China by the year 2050 in population growth Um, see, India is projected to surpass China, and maybe I'll say this, by the year 2050, India is projected to surpass China. in population growth. Okay, I like that better, right, writers? Um, let's go back. So now we're gonna look at, you know, um, maybe 2000. So, um, so I'm looking at 1 billion and then China was right at almost 1.25 billion. So basically it's, it's almost like it had about, 1.25 billion so um we can say something like um so again just summarizing the information that we see um However, so I'm going back in time, that however, uh, India is projected to surpass China in population growth. However, that was not always the case. In 2000, while China or I'll say this from the year 2000 to and I guess I could say um to from the year 2000 to 2020 um, because again those would be more accurate whereas you know 2025 sort of in the middle we're not there yet we're still in the year 2023 so from the year 2000 to 2020 China had um, had surpassed um, India in population numbers so let's say that um, from the years 2000 or from 2000 or maybe I'll say this from the decades spanning from spanning or from the decades
from the decades spanning from 2000 to 2020. China had been the forerunner from the decades spanning from, I don't really like the from, from, right, writers, but I have 10 minutes and 30 seconds remaining, so I'm going to let that go from right, for right now. Um, or in the decades, that's what I want, in the decades spanning from 2000 to 2020, comma, China had been the forerunner outpacing India I and we can go back and kind of look at it you know anywhere from um, so really again if we're talking about 1.2 billion we're talking about like 200 million so 200 million um, until 200 million to or 250 million to about so this is all about 300, 400, from 200 million to 200000000 China had been the forerunner, outpacing India by as much as $250 million people. By 2020, the number, that number, decreased To a near 100 that number had that number decreased to a near 100 million um, individual difference Or population difference. Let's go with that, right, writers? Seven minutes and 50 seconds remaining. By 2020, that number decreased to a mere 100 million um, population difference. Going back to the graph. Okay, so really they're set to meet in 2030. So, and then India is set to outpace, so a little over 1.4 um, billion. So let's say that. The UN expects both nations to meet in exact population numbers to meet in exact population numbers by the year 2030. by the year 2030 with a little over 1.4 billion people.
and let me say inhabitants just to change it up so you're not saying people people population over and over again so 1.4 billion inhabitants um and then the 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 point at which india surpasses china will be 2035 it looks like right here so 2035 um okay so 2035 uh five minutes remaining um india will overtake china By 2035, um, reaching nearly 1.5 nearly billion in population. Whereas, and that's a contrast transition word, whereas China. will begin its a slow and steady decline to let's see to so I'll just say a slow and steady decline um, to by 2050 to just under 1.4 billion. Um, so let's see. Okay, let's see how to put that. India will overtake or is expected to overtake China by 2035. To overtake China by 2025 or 2035, rather, right writers reaching nearly 1.5 billion in population, whereas China will begin its slow and steady decline. Or, yeah, its slow and steady decline. Three minutes and 15 seconds remaining, right writers. So. And, you know, what's interesting is that, you know, you can sort of see a 200 million difference uh, in individuals. Um, so, you know, whereas China by 2050 will be one point around just under 1.4 billion, India is expected to be at 1.6 billion. Um, so let's go ahead and end with that. Um, population whereas China will begin its slow and steady decline by 20 I've got two minutes and 34 seconds remaining indeed by 2050 and I'm looking at ending where I began began right writers again of this increase in population um, indeed by 2050 um, India will switch or swap, switch places with China with 1.6 billion in population growth while China hovers
around 1.4 billion. Um, India is expected to overtake China by 2035, reaching nearly 1.5 billion in population, whereas China will begin its slow and steady decline. Indeed, by, 20, by 2050, India will switch places with China with 1.6 billion in population, while China hovers around 1.4 billion. Um, and I'm going to go ahead, put in by the year. And 14 seconds remaining, right, writers, and 10 seconds. So I am going to go ahead and pause. Let's see how I did. Let's see the numbers and see if I got to 150. I sure hope I did, right, writers. And if not, again, this is uh, the struggle that we face as writers is um, just trying to, you know, make the, the word count under test um a test environment and just you know having that timer having that pressure so let's take a look and see if i hit the word count first of all nope i sure didn't i got to 130 words so um closer than the last one that i did um but i did not make it so i got to 130 words not 139 130 words um, for my word count. Let's take a look at what I have. I mean, we do know that in the IELTS, the second part, the second writing task is worth more points than the first one. So that is good to know. But I missed it by 20 words, right, writers? Now we'll just take a look and see if at least what I wrote was okay and it was understandable. So that's definitely, uh, that will work to my advantage. So let's take a look at it, right, writers. Here we go. Taking it from the top here with Cruz. According to the United Nations Population Division, by the year 2050, India is projected to surpass China in population growth. However, that was not always the case. In the decades spanning from 2000 to 2020, China had been the forerunner, outpacing India by as much as 250 million people. By 2020, that number decreased to a near 100 million population difference. The UN expects both nations to meet in exact population numbers by the year 2030 with a little over 1.4 billion inhabitants. And, okay. Um, India is expected to overtake China by 2035, reaching nearly 1.5 billion in population, whereas China will begin its slow and steady decline. Indeed, by the year 2050, India will switch places with China with 1.6 billion in population, while China hovers around 1.4 billion. So in this case, I could have added, right, writers, to add more words. I could have said, indeed, by the year 2050, China, India will switch places um, with, China, with where China was in 2000 and said something about that because it's almost like, again, their, their population numbers sort of flip-flop and change where, you know, China was ahead by about 250 million people in 2000, and by the year 20, 2050, 2050, India will um, have about a 200 uh, million uh, people population difference with China. So, I mean, the summary I feel like is adequate. I think I did a, a satisfactory job in the summary. It's just I did not make it to um, 150 words under the 20 minute time constraint. So, um, you know, right writers again, just looking at, I'm, I'm just trying to see if I could have, you know, uh, looked at some other issues. What I could have done is, you know, again, I mentioned the slow and steady decline. Um, you know, I could have mentioned that, but again, we're summarizing what we're seeing. So we're not inferring what's happening for India, because you can definitely tell right writers that it looks like India may start to drop at some point, you know, but we're just summarizing what is there. And so, you know, I, it's sort of that's that's where we are um, with that.
you know, we only have the graph that's given to us. So when you're summarizing, it's technically you're not supposed to be inferring, meaning predicting what will happen in the future necessarily, but just inferring what we're seeing there and inferring the predictions or summarizing the predictions from the United Nations. So the United Nations is the one doing the inferring as far as what is expected with population growth. Um, I could have also said, um, let's see, that the gap, you know, again, was still wider in China than here because you can almost buy 50 million people um, between India and China. But, you know, I just ran out of time, right, writers? So with that said, right, writers, I am going to be like, give you the wah, wah, wah. So this is one of those moments where it's like, poor me, poor Cruz. I did not make it to 150 words for our summary for the IELTS writing task number one. But again, my struggle is your struggle, right, writers? So I hope this helps you to understand that. As a native English speaker, even I will struggle with these writing tasks. Um, with that, right, writers, I leave you, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Um, more videos to come, right, writers. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. Um, I've had quite a few subscriptions um, in the last uh, week or two, so I do appreciate that. Some of your names, I I do not know how to say because they are in another language, but I appreciate you and I want to make sure that I recognize um, my subscribers, especially in the um, comments that I'm able to make and posts uh, within the YouTube channel. So again, thank you so much, Right Writers, for subscribing. Thank you for supporting this channel. And um, I'll see you on the next video, the next failure. Um, we will see, Right Writers, whether or not I fail, that is. I will definitely see you next Tuesday, but whether or not I fail, well, that's that remains to be seen. Until next time, Art Writers, love you guys. Thank you so much again. Take care. Bye-bye.